Bojack Horseman. Okay. How does work? Good. How was your day? Oh, I was at the dentist for so long. Did you find yeah. Did you find that book? No, I had to tell her. You haven't told her yet. No, I did tell her. I told her. What did she say? She handled it fine. Like, yeah, she was nice about it. And then she's. And then when I saw her the next time, because I texted her, and then when I saw her the next time, she's like, you know, if you have a Kindle, I can email it to you. And I'm like, oh, she's like, you can um, download it. Is it free? Yeah, but I... Give her my email. I have a Kindle. I'll read it. Well, I'd like to read it, though, too. Give her my email, though, the cjkutravats at gmail. See if it'll... Okay, and then you'll read it? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to her tomorrow. My phone's downstairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious to read it, though, but... I don't know, yeah, she's probably not going to want to give me another paper copy. <laughs> oh, God, that sucks. So, I get my braces put on on December 1st. Yeah, are you happy about that? Yep. <clears throat> That'll be good. That'll be good. Stuff we don't want to do, but we have to. Yeah. I'm just worried about with my teeth, like, if this is happening when I'm 38, because, she, well, she she filled the one next to it, and she, she's like, just, you know, this is close to the nerve, too. So down the road, you know, three, five, ten years, you could need another root canal. So it's different too. So I'm like, oh my god, because you want to keep your teeth, you know, like you're trying to save these teeth. But I feel like it's so young to have these teeth, like not doing well. Yeah. That sucks. You don't have many cavities in it, right? You were like, you don't have many cavities, right? No, I didn't have any cavities last time I went in. No, but like in your teeth from your youth. I have a few. Yeah, because I had tons. And, like, it's nice with these kids. It's like, yeah, they lost their teeth due to decay, like, the baby teeth. But, yeah, their they're adult teeth, I feel like I have a chance on. But mine, yeah, I don't know what the heck went wrong. Just, I didn't brush or what. But I was, like... I, I, like, was a little bit in tears at first when she told me I needed a root canal. When are you, like, when are you going to get it? Well, so I, I, first I made the appointment for Thursday. And then, so then, like, between two, like, about two weeks after, you're supposed to get the, um, the crown put on. But I called my insurance, and I have a $1,000. They'll pay a $1,000 um, of dental work per calendar year. And I've, um, like, with all these things, like, so I want to make the root canal this year, the crown next year. So I have the root canal now December 11th. And then, um, like, I'll get it, like, January 2nd, I'll get my crown just so that I can bill the insurance that way. Because they still don't pay everything. They pay 60%. And... It'll be about, um, each one will be like 1500 and they'll pay, they say 60% of like the allowable amount, so what the heck that means, I don't know. I don't know, it just stinks, Colin, such a waste of money and you feel like it's unnecessary, you know, because we, all right, so we also, we went to that Dr. Sashan here, you know. You went to him once, at least once, I know. Yeah. So we went to him, and he was always, like, just in and out. And plus, I didn't go much since I had Clark. 
Mm-hmm. And he was always just in and out. And I would always think, like, wouldn't he want to do x-rays and all that? But I'm, like, happy to have a good appointment. But I bet he overlooked stuff. I don't know. Hindsight, you know, it sucks. Did I tell you Clark's Super Bowl is Saturday? Where's it at? At Benedictine. What town is that in? Lyle. That's where I went to college. You knew that, right? Uh, but it's at 8.30 in the morning. That's the bad part. Uh, I told Grandma she should go, but she's working that thing all weekend. Good, at Good Templar in Geneva. I went to the DMV today to get my license renewed. Oh, uh huh. But it was election day, so it was closed. It's closed on election day? Yep. Yeah. What time did you go? Like after work? Or before no, or in, the, in the morning at 8. Oh. Uh, so you, you, okay. So you still don't have like the 21 license? Yep. Yeah, remember, so according to when I ordered your tires, it should be in like this weekend. So I've got to make an appointment for that. Or no, I mean, they'll, they'll probably email me this week and then I have to make an appointment. Does it, should I just try to get a weekend? Yeah. Weekend when you can drive me. Well, you'll just hang out there. How long will it take? I doubt long if you have an appointment, but yeah, I'll drive you. But it, well, I mean, hopefully, can, then I hopefully can, it is this weekend because the next weekend will be in Nashville. I can drive there. It probably will be quick. Um, oh, you know, actually what the nice thing is, like, you can go and get their food. You know, sit in, like, the food court because it's connected. Like, there's an opening. Yeah. When my teeth are fixed, I'll be able to shave my beard. Oh my god, you look nice. I, when I see pictures of you without it, you look really nice. I mean, you look good the when it's before the, br- the ones before the braces I had in high school look nice after it's all bad. Oh, I wonder how much different my life would be if I never got braces. Or if I had gotten braces, but like it... But you know what? I, what I always think is, like, you can go back to school whenever you want. You are not, like, a middle-aged man. You are young still. But maybe you don't even want to go to school, you know? Mm-hmm. But don't do this stuff where it's like, oh, if only, if only. Like, yeah, there are setbacks, and it sucks. But, I mean, you can't make it, let it change your life or like think that people will notice something like you're not the boy on wonder you know like you're not or imagine those kids Colin at that in Lombard that grandma talks about sometimes that got burned by the fire like imagine them what fire? one minute they're huh what fire you know like last spring there was some people like in their backyard just hanging out by a fire and then somebody thought it would be funny to throw gasoline on it and like that was in that was in spring, and there's like uh, there's peop- there's this one girl that's in the um, burn unit in Texas, like ever since then. Who threw the gasoline? One of their friends, but um, and then like they had like a prom, like it was prom, and the girl couldn't go. So they went to her house, and like her whole head is like bandaged, and it's just like all those kids that were around there like got severely burned there's yes grandma I'm surprised she didn't tell you about it there's like um she goes to fundraisers sometimes for it I saw a YouTube video like that where the husband threw gasoline on the fire and the wife's face caught on fire and she's completely deformed 
and the husband divorced her because he couldn't deal with the burns even though it was his fault and then they had a video of the husband the husband never even apologized and they asked him why he didn't apologize and he said well it was an accident even, even though like he, he look up the video look up husband sets wife husband pours gasoline on fire and sets wife's face on fire just look it up on YouTube I'm sure it'll come up I don't get the flu shot, though. Okay, good night. All right, love you, good night. Love you, good night.